Hi everybody, it's Joe Crew from FinSuite. In this video, we go over the FinSuite CMS library for Webflow. We're in the live example going through the filter component. In this video, we learn how to filter by range with CMS library. We will be setting up project ranges, and when we filter by that project range, it will filter that range of projects in our grid. You'll see here we're starting off with project 1.8 to 28.4. It will start at project two. Project one does not qualify since it's 1.8 to 28.4. Project 31 to 60, and it will only filter 31 to 60. We'll be looking at how to set up this range. We will not be looking at how to set up the whole filter system. If you have not set up your filter system yet, please check out the other examples. We're just going over range in this video. We're in designer. We're going to look at the data attribute structure and the classes that we need to go into custom code to make this filtered by range. Let's first look at the buttons. There is no change to the data attribute setup that we've been using for all other examples inside filters. We have our filter by data attribute name and the value is going to be the range that we want to filter by. In this button example, we have 1.8 to 28.4. Project 31 to 60 is, you guessed it, filter by 31 to 60. For 61 to 90, filter by 61 to 90. So the value is our range, nothing special, nothing fancy about this. We need to make sure that we do have our filter group applied correctly. And in this example, we're using range filter as our group class name. Now let's go into custom code, see how all of this works together to filter by range. We're in custom code and we have to set one of our options to true. That option is the filter range option. We're inside of our filter groups array. And in the filter groups array, we have our range filter group. The range filter group is what holds all of those buttons that we're just filtering our projects by number. We have to tell CMS library that this is a range filter and the range filter is going to allow you to put that range in the value. If you did not have this, it would be searching for the keyword 1.8 by 1.8 dash 28.4. That would not return anything. There's nothing with that text on the page. So filter range true is saying this is a range. Please accept the value as a range. That's all you have to do to set up a range filter in CMS library. That's effing sweet.